Gina Alberti, and here's what's happening this week in Menor. A public hearing will be held at Menor City Hall on March 30th at 4 p.m. regarding the Menor Community Development Block Grant Program. The Block Grant Fund comes to the City of Menor through the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Over the last five years, it's resulted in a, about a $1.5 million coming to the city. A good portion of that Funding is spent doing housing rehab for low to moderate income citizens throughout the city. Project Hope for the Homeless and other organizations are also supported by portions of the grant. The city is expected to receive almost $165,000. The meeting is a chance for residents to comment on Menor's community development needs and priorities for the use of CDBG funds. March is Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. This year's theme is Can Do Like You, and it encourages people to get to know someone with a disability and see that everyone has something to offer. Each year, the Lake County Board of Developmental Disabilities holds special events to help increase public awareness and understanding of those with developmental disabilities. The You Are Beautiful pageant was created by Menor High School student and Girl Scout Molly Moyer to help celebrate everyone's unique beauty and special attributes. It gives the kids at Broadmoor a chance to like shine because I know some of these kids don't get a chance to do that and I think everyone should have a chance to have their moment in the spotlight. Oh, just like looking at the expression on their face, it's just like, it's just priceless. Another upcoming event to celebrate this month is the much anticipated Broadmoor Bobcats versus area coaches basketball game on March 30th at Menor High School. Tickets will be available at the door. The safety of students and staff members has become a growing concern for parents, safety forces, and legislators. In 2013, the state of Ohio created the School Security Grant Program to help Ohio schools improve security through the use of technology. Last October, Lake County Schools implemented a radio system which can quickly notify all emergency dispatch centers in Lake County should an active shooter incident occur. Oh, this is an excellent tool. This definitely makes us better prepared to respond to uh, an incident, gives us the means to get there quickly and get support needed from other departments, goes to all dispatch centers within the county. We get a simultaneous message and the Dispatch center that covers the affected school would take the lead, but all departments would send officers to help. During an emergency, a dispatch center can receive thousands of calls from those involved, as well as from the general public seeking information. Providing a direct link to our emergency services can positively impact response time in a critical situation. While we hope that the system will never be used, having it in place helps our Menor Police and Fire Department be prepared to quickly respond to a call for help. Experience the diverse dining and catering options available in Menor at the fourth annual Restaurant Showcase. Tickets are just $25 and will provide unlimited access to a wide variety of food from over 20 participating restaurants, as well as two complimentary drinks. VIP tickets are also available that give diners even more. The showcase kicks off the city's inaugural restaurant week, which we're calling Dine in Menor. You can learn more at www.dineinmenor.com. The Rogers Company is marking a milestone this month as they celebrate their 70th anniversary. Rogers was founded in 1945 and has been going strong ever since by designing and building trade show exhibits for clients around the world. The key is customer service and how you take care of your clients, especially in our industry. We have a number of international clients. Uh, we have a number of clients that are multinational. The company has grown dramatically over the last 10 years, uh, approximately over 300% in total growth. We've added new services. We continue to add staff, and our plans are just to continue to grow for the foreseeable future. Congratulations to this unique Menor business as they embark on their 71st year. Don't miss Menor Theater's presentation of Into the Woods, March 26th through the 29th. The show's going to be phenomenal. It's a modern classic that mashes a bunch of fairy tale characters together, and I think the audiences will have as much fun as the kids have had putting it on. Menor Theater is made up of over 120 students who work on stage and backstage to bring the story to life. This award-winning program was established in the 1920s and has consistently produced classic productions ever since. Tickets are on sale now. 
contact Mentor Fine Arts for additional information. And finally, if you travel west on Route 2, it's likely that you've encountered the Heisley Hump in the center lane just before Heisley Road. Lake County engineers say the hump may be caused by a chemical reaction in the soil or as a result of our severe winter weather. Whatever the cause, motorists who often travel the route have affectionately named the strange road anomaly, which now even has its own official Twitter account, at Heisley H. The Lake County Engineers Department is working with ODOT on a permanent repair for the problem. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of This Week in Menor.